Well, it was another big swing and a miss for Burger King with their latest ad campaign. I mean, they're promoting the Veggie Whopper of all things. And wow, did this thing deteriorate quickly. We are going to get into all the details of it in just a second, guys. First, if you could, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, wear the glasses because I'm blind. I also invite you guys really quick, if you're able to make a generous donation to my ministry to help support my content making end time Bible prophecy headlines, you can click my link to PayPal down below, or you can sign up on my Patreon for just five bucks a month. You do that, you get all the alerts for all the content I produce because YT barely pushes notifications out anymore. You can also comment there 100% censorship free and send direct messages to me. And then don't forget these videos also go out on my Rumble platform. Make sure you sub to me there. You never know when I could get kicked off of YT, so you might want to get in the habit of checking me out there from time to time. All the links down below. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity very greatly appreciated. So, let's talk about Burger King. You can have it your way, right? Well, you have your right to be offended, and uh, that's exactly what happened here with this latest ad campaign. And look, I would love to think what these people that are sitting around here, you know, in the in, this, in their strategy room and thinking, okay, we got this new ad campaign. We're, we're ready here. Now, here, we're going to pitch the idea. What do you think about this? We're coming up on Easter, right? We want to promote our new burger here, the, the, the veggie king, the vegetable king, okay? And what better way to go ahead and incorporate this and than to add Easter with it? We, we can somehow... You know, incorporate here the big the big king vegetable. That's what they're called. The big king vegetable. <laughs> but we can tie Easter in with this because th this will really make waves. Now, I want you guys to keep in mind something here. This ad was released specifically in Spain, okay? Now, Spain has about 200 Burger Kings that are in the country. So they got some there. Also... Spain is 60% Catholic as far as the faith goes there. So picture this. You got the Burger King ad for the, <laughs> the Big King vegetable. And here you have repeating the words of Jesus from the Last Supper during this. Take all of you and eat of it. As Jesus is promoting, which you guys know, and they do this during the communion, the Eucharist whatever you want to call it, whatever denomination you are, which is supposed to represent the body. But you have a situation here in which you are using the veggie whopper here, which does not contain any meat. And using Jesus's words from the Last Supper to promote this, which you know this was right before his death. I mean, other, other words in the campaign... That Jesus had mentioned, you know, here, you know, flesh of my flesh. Well, they crossed off one of the words of flesh and replaced it with vegetable. Flesh of my vegetable. Yes. Put this whole thing together. Release the ad. Not only was it released on TV, but also all over the country. Billboards. I mean, they rolled this thing out. They put all this money and effort into the campaign and it was a huge strike and a miss. You had all of these Catholics and all of these Christians going on social media and just causing an uproar about this, saying you are mocking the resurrection of Jesus Christ. You're mocking the Last Supper. How dare you do this? They wanted it immediately removed. And Burger King in Spain, they did release a statement, which came actually right around Easter where they said that they were working immediately to withdraw the campaign and said that they meant no harm to anybody in the Catholic or Christian community about the words here. And you know they didn't mean to take Jesus's words out of context and mix this in with an ad for a vegetable king sandwich. Uh, and they'd be working on this. Oh, but this was not good enough, though, for these people in Spain, because... They're actually taking things to the next level. They are now saying that they will never again eat at a Burger King unless, this is what they want, they want the general manager for Burger King in Spain fired. That's right, they want his job gone. 
because of this. And don't mess with these people on Easter, okay? They take it very seriously over there. Now, I know, you know, in typical Catholic religions, they might, you know, it's more of the religious thing to them, you know, with the Eucharist and all of that. You know, I know with Christians, non-denominational Christians, evangelicals, you know, they'll look at Easter, you know, possibly a little bit differently. Look, it's still bad taste, no matter how you want to look at it. And like, oh, well, speaking of bad taste, I'm sure that that Big King vegetable is probably disgusting. But uh, that's a conversation. That's a whole other conversation. So they want this guy's job. Now, no word yet from Burger King as to whether or not they're going to actually fire this general manager or not over the ad campaign. But this is by far not the first time that Burger King has come under fire for putting out an offensive ad. We know that they have been like this when it comes to the rainbow community. Uh, they have gone up against Chick-fil-A before, which I find funny because Chick-fil-A is just as sold out to the rainbow community as Burger King is, but not a lot of people know that. I talk about that. I've talked about that a lot in other videos. I won't get into that here now. But, you know, Burger King, again, no stranger to controversy and no doubt they will try something like this again. And of course, the question was raised because it always will be. Would they try something like this uh, and promote something having to do with, you know, the Muslim time of Ramadan? Well, I don't think we've seen anything from Burger King yet. I don't know if they'd be willing to cross that line. It seems like more often than not, they are willing to step in there into the, you know, in the world of Christianity and take things from there, mock it, take it out of context and roll with it to see what the repercussions will be rather than go down the other road. Enough said there. I don't need to go any further. You guys know where I'm getting with that. But uh, what do you guys think? You can let me know. Uh, would that ad bother you? Would it offend you? Do you not have a problem with it? Do you not care one way or the other? Are you glad that Burger King in Spain pulled it? Uh, look, I mean, obviously it was done in poor taste. And again, I can't help but think about that vegetable king whopper every time I say that. Uh, yeah. Look, um, we're going to see a continual mocking of Jesus as we go on here in the last days, whether it's a part of commercials or, or whatever it is. It's something that's going to really start to amp up. And even more than that, you're going to see the persecution of Christians continue to rise as well and uh, not just, you know, in places where you would typically see them. But no, United States, Canada, everywhere in the West, we've seen glimpses of it already uh, over the last two years with everything that's gone down. Uh, but it'll go to even, well, scarier heights than what we've seen so far. But if you are somebody that has not yet accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, this is the time to do so. What better time than now? to make that decision to come to Christ. In fact, I would love to lead you in a prayer right now to get you to accept Christ into your life. This is a prayer you can do in your own words, but I will give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. The first thing that you want to do right off the top, you want to acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. But let me tell you the good news. God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from that sin. Not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from lifestyles, habits, whatever it is in your life that goes against the word of God. You ask Jesus to forgive you. He wipes that sin away. The Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. I pray you make that decision today. I will have more on this for you guys down below. You can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you can help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.